Okay, everyone. So here is a question on square and square root. The question is, find the square root of eight thousand one hundred by prime factorization method. Eighty one hundred is again an even number. So I'll write eighty one hundred. So I'll take here two. So we'll get here fours are eight, and one is not divisible. So I'll take zero. And I'll take ten now. Two fives are ten, and then again zero. We'll go with again two. So two twos are four. Zero again. Two twos are four. One is left out. Two fives are ten. Now number end with a uh, five. So we're gonna take three. We'll just take with three. So two. Sorry, three. Uh, uh, we have a twenty, right? So three. Six are eighteen. So two is left out. That makes twenty-two. Three sevens are twenty-one. One is left. That makes fifteen. So three fives are fifteen. Again, this is divisible by three. So three twos are six. Again, three twos are six. One is left out. Three fives are fifteen. Now two twenty-five is again divisible by three. Three sevens are twenty-one. One is left. Fifteen we got. So three fives are fifteen. Again, seventy-five is also divisible by three. Three twos are six. One is left. Three fives are fifteen. So I'll just write down again. We got twenty five here. So twenty uh, five means it goes in five table. Five fives are twenty five, and then five ones are five. So let's rewrite what we got. We're gonna write down all these factors here. What we got. So eighty one hundred or eight thousand one hundred can be written as two into two. Into three into three into three into three into five into five. Now let's start pairing it up. So this is forming a one pair. This is another pair. This is another pair, and this is one more pair. Now when you calculate the square root, so square root of eighty one hundred is nothing but from each pair you take one number. So from here I'll take this two. Multiplied by from here I'll take this three only one number you should take from here I'll take another three and from the last one I'll take five so multiply them two threes are six six threes are eighteen eighteen fives are ninety so therefore square root of eighty one hundred is nothing but ninety so that's it I hope it's clear. and in case you have any doubt or question you can leave a comment below and that's it thank you so much for watching